Hello everybody, my name is Crane and this is Ragnarok Online Tips, the show where I guide you through some of the quests and more obscure tips you might be having trouble with in the game. Today we are going to take a look at the blacksmith job change quest, so grab your hammer and the leather apron because we are turning that furnace on. In order to turn into a blacksmith, you first need to meet the following requirements. Be the merchant class, have a job level of at least 40, but please note that if you are job level 50, you will get 5 extra steel at the end of the quest and have spent all your job points. After you have fulfilled the requirements, you must go to Aimbrock, the mechanical town, and head to the blacksmith's guild located in the inside of a building in the southeastern part of the city. You might have to rotate your camera to see the entrance to the building. Inside of the building, you can start the quest by talking to Ultragen, who is behind the counter. Tell him you want to change jobs, and he will ask you to find a guild member called Geshumpest, I don't know how to pronounce it, in the nearby town of Einbech. If your server has a warp service, just go to Coal Mines, or directly to Einbech. Otherwise, you have to take the train in the northeastern corner of Einbech. The building you are looking for is in the central square of the city, and inside you will find the guildsman with the impossible to pronounce name who will test your knowledge in smithing. The test consists in 10 questions connected to merchants and blacksmithing, and you will have to answer all 10 correctly to proceed. These are the ones I got. There is one more set that I will leave in the description box. Which region is matched incorrectly with its specialty item? The answer is Alberta, the sword maze. What status can be inflicted with the hammerfall skill? The answer is stun. Which skill cannot be performed by a merchant? The answer is increased agility. Where can you find a store that sells blue gemstones? The answer is Jeffen. Where is the tool dealer located in Jeffen? The answer is 8 o'clock in the direction from the town square. Which weapon cannot be used by a merchant? The answer is a Bible. Which has the highest defense rate? The answer is mink coat. For level 3 weapons, what is the safe limit for upgrading? The answer is up to plus 5. What item can be made using trunks? The answer is a sacat. And lastly, the most important part of being a merchant is, of course, money. After you have answered all 10 questions correctly, he will then ask you to gather 4 items from one of the 5 different sets he has and deliver them to him so he can make a special weapon for a specific person in a different town. Each of the sets contains a weapon you can buy from an NPC and three different materials. Just go gather the items and come back to him. These are the sets. Set 1. You will need 2 steel, which you can get from pitmen at coal mines, 1 rotten bandage, which you can get from mummies at pyramids, 2 blue gemstone, which you can buy from Juno or Jeffen, and one Arc Wand, which you can also buy from Juno. After you receive the special Arc Wand, you have to deliver it to Basilisk in this part of Jeff. Set 2. You will need two Stardust, which you can get from Sandman in Morrow Fields, two Skull Bones, which you can get from Skeletons in Payon Dungeon, one Sargon, which you can get from Barretts in Pyramids, and one Gladius, which you can buy from Morrow. After you receive the special Gladius, go deliver it to Wikibane in this part of Morak. Set 3. You will need 2 coal, which you can get from coal mines by killing pitmen or skeleton worker, 2 shell, which you can get from Chanchan north of Jeffen, 2 red blood, which you can get from red mushrooms in Payan Dungeon, and 1 surigi, which you can buy from Einbrach. After you receive the special surigi, go deliver it to Krongest in this part of Lighthausen. Set 4. You will need 8 iron ore, which you can get from any ant in Anthel, 1 trunk, which you can get from Karakasa north of Amatsu. Please note that in some servers, they ask for an eye patch instead of the trunk. You can buy it in Light Halson as well. 2 blue gemstone, which you can buy from Yuno, and 1 arbalest, which you can buy in Payan. After you receive the special arbalest, go deliver it to Tilipits in this part of Payan. Lastly, set 5, 8 iron ore, which you can get from any ant in anthill as well, 20 green herbs, which you can get from Poppering in Payan Dungeon, 
two animal skin, which you can get from Bigfoot south of Luyen, and one morning star, which you can buy from Einbroch as well. After you receive the special morning star, go deliver it to Bismarck in this part of Hugel. After you deliver the special weapon, you will receive a receipt that signifies your completion of the task. Go back to Gushim Penchte, who will send you back to Ottergen for the last part of the test. Just go back to Einbrock and inside of the blacksmith's guild and speak to him. He will direct you to Mitmeyer, an NPC in the same building, who will give you your last task. This one is also a test consisting of 5 questions. There are 3 sets and you must get at least 4 of them right to pass. Here's the set I got. I'll leave the others in the description as well. First question. Which skill is needed for this count? The answer is a large weight at level 3. What effect does Hammerfall have? The answer is stun. How much seni is taken when Mammonite is used at level 10? The answer is 1000 seni. How much money is saved with max discount? The answer is 24%. And how much can you earn with max overcharge? The answer is also 24%. Once you have passed the quest, she will give you a hammer of blacksmith as a proof of your success and tell you to show it to Alter again in order for him to change you into a blacksmith. Just speak to him and he will change your job and give you some steel. 5 if you are under job level 50 and 10 if you are job level 50. Now that you are a blacksmith, I hope you are ready to build some mighty weapons and maybe you will even rank in the top of your server. I hope you guys found this guide useful and that you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more guides and tips. See you guys later.